Every year, Thanksgiving night, we flocked out behind Dad as he dragged the Santa suit to the road and draped it over a kind of crucifix he'd built out of metal poles in the yard. Super Bowl week, the pole was dressed in a jersey and Rod's helmet, and Rod had to clear it with Dad if he wanted to take the helmet off. On the 4th of July, the pole was Uncle Sam. On Veterans Day, a soldier. On Halloween, a ghost. The pole was Dad's only concession to glee. We were allowed a single Crayola from the box at a time. On Christmas Eve, he shrieked at Kimmy for wasting an apple slice. He hovered over us as we poured ketchup, saying, good enough, good enough, good enough. Birthday parties consisted of cupcakes, no ice cream. The first time I brought a date over, she said, what's with your dad in that pole? And I sat there blinking. We left home, married, had children of our own, found the seeds of meanness blooming also within us. Dad began dressing the pole with more complexity and less discernible logic. He draped some kind of fur over it on Groundhog Day and lugged out a floodlight to ensure a shadow. When an earthquake struck Chile, he lay the pole on its side and spray-painted a rift in the earth. Mom died, and he dressed the pole as death and hung from the crossbar photos of Mom as a baby. We'd stop by and find odd talismans from his youth arranged around the base, Army medals, theater tickets, old sweatshirts, tubes of mom's makeup. One autumn, he painted the pole bright yellow. He covered it with cotton swabs that winter for warmth and provided offspring by hammering in six crossed sticks around the yard. He ran lengths of string between the pole and the sticks and taped to the string letters of apology. Admissions of error, pleas for understanding, all written in a frantic hand on index cards. He painted a sign saying, love, and hung it from the pole, and another that said, forgive, question mark, and then he died, in the hall, with the radio on, and we sold the house to a young couple who yanked out the pole and the sticks and left them by the road on garbage day.